And we turn now to Senator Richard Lugar, who is the top Republican on the Foreign Relations Committee in the Senate. Uh, Senator, thank you for joining us. You were very, very dubious about this in the beginning. How do you feel about it this morning? Well, my feelings are that we are not uh, declaring war at this point. Uh, we are a part, uh, as the Admiral has said, of a coalition. Uh, and th in that case, we've already fired 110 missiles, tomahawks, uh, at Libya and had uh, some aircraft support. But my point uh, this week publicly has been that if we're going to war with Libya, we ought to have a declaration of war by the Congress. And specifically, before we go to war, there always ought to be a plan for what is going to proceed. That is for us, at least, as well as for others, and what the outcome is, what we anticipate is going to occur. Now, that's especially important in this case, because the, the mission right now is based, as the Admiral said, on trying to relieve the civilians in Libya from a tyrant, uh, from trying to make certain the cruelties and the murder and what have you doesn't continue. But how do you do that? Now, now the president has been very clear, no American boots on the ground, no ground troops, uh, no American aircraft over Libya. So we don't have exposure of our people. Uh, and uh, he emphasizes a matter of days, not weeks in this mission. But uh, we really have not discovered who it is in Libya that we are trying to, to support. Obviously, the people that are against Gaddafi, but who? In eastern Libya, for example, a huge number of people went off to help the Iraqis against the United States in a war that still is just winding down in that sphere. Uh, now, specifically, uh, if we don't really concentrate on this now, we then take a look at uh, in the same news clips with Bahrain, where a government is shooting people. Uh, they are resisting the government. Furthermore, Saudi Arabia has sent 2,000 troops into Bahrain to support that government. We have the Fifth Fleet there. If that was not enough, Yemen is shooting people. The government is shooting citizens. And, and yet we are very indebted to that government for looking for Al-Qaeda, who have come over from Afghanistan or elsewhere. Uh, and furthermore, even Syria today is, is shooting people in one part of the country as they try to suppress uh, difficulties there. The Tunisian-Egyptian thing set off a situation in which people who are resisting their governments have decided to go after them. Now, we, in Libya, because Gaddafi appears to be especially cruel uh, and uh, out of sorts, why the world, including the Arab League, has come into this. Well, is what you're saying is that we're running the risk here of getting involved in all of these countries, that, uh, that the people in all these countries may be calling on us. Can, can we handle that? Well, that is the question we ought to determine. Now, at least preliminary polls are the American people do not want to try to handle all of this. It's a strange time in which almost all of our congressional days are spent talking about budget, deficits, uh, outrageous problems, uh, and yet at the same time, the, all of this passes, which is a very expensive operation, even in a limited way, always is. Uh, and, and we're talking about many countries in which our interests are involved. Now, we, we had better get this straight from the beginning, or, or there is going to be a situation in which war lingers on country after country, situation after situation, all of them uh, on a humane basis, saving people, all maybe the, with the Arab League in or out of it. But at the same time, in this case, China, and Russia and Germany and India and Brazil all standing aside and, and saying they're not very confident even about the Libyan situation. So you're still just as wary right now yes, as I you am. were at the beginning of this. Yes. Senator, thank you so much for bringing thank that. Thank you, Bob.